All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, uh, second video back after uh, after my little hiatus. I hope every one of you is doing really well, um, and everybody's doing doing well. <laughs> everybody's having fun. Looking for the brand new Edith uh, Kanaka Ole quarters are officially out there, and I'm happy to report of a few new errors that have come onto the scene to all you sleuths out there looking for these and have eventually gotten your magnifying glass or your jeweler's loop and looking a little bit closer at what these coins have to offer uh i'm happy to say it's looking promising so here we are second quarter second american women quarter for 2023 and uh on the error front it doesn't disappoint so let's talk about what's out there. First and foremost, as reported by the live coin Q&A, um, they had done a uh, short video on this and uh, I'm simply reinforcing what has been found so far and that is a pretty phenomenal looking clash die. So there's been a number of them available. Uh, people seem to be trying to offer around 25 bucks each of them. Um, and uh, there's been a few sales to this point, nothing too crazy, but let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what you're going to be finding on this quarter. So it's going to be on the obverse. Uh, we have the obverse right here. Uh, it's going to be a Philadelphia minted coin, of course. And uh, if we pan in a little bit closer to where Washington's ear is, you're going to see like a little bar that's going to be coming out of the earlobe. All right. And that is eventually until we get to this photo where we have the clashing of a few of the letters from the reverse in this area now um there are obviously better photos of this event um on ebay all right so this one right here that i had clicked on at 25 dollars as you can see has now been revised to 1995 by it now this must have just happened within moments from um, from when I put this up. Uh, as a matter of fact, this seller has a 15% off coupon using this uh, this uh, the alphanumeric um, uh, kind of code here on checkout and uh, $20. So uh, yeah, uh, kind of a race to the bottom on this one. I, I think a lot of people are finding this particular error in um, in quantity compared to anything else, uh, we have Suburban Treasures that has one, two, three, four of them uh, back to back to back. Uh, I'm willing to bet if I clicked on another one, this one is at twenty five dollars as well, and uh, hoping to at least get twenty twenty five dollars for this coin. Uh, so as we come along, some of the other coins that are being offered on eBay, uh, hopefully with better photos, we'll click into that. To kind of see what we have there uh so there's been this other anomaly called the fire on the mountain uh or fire on the hill as uh, the couple different um i guess nicknames have popped up for this and uh, i believe this is uh these are feeder finger scrapes from what i could see but it's on the reverse uh with the kanaka ole design and uh where is this at this is gonna be right here underneath the o and f and uh, of in America, I, I don't know why I said O and F, but uh, right underneath of uh, in America, uh, what appears to be a few feeder finger scrapes, um, uh, which is simply um, uh, you know the feeder finger making contact with that die at some point, uh, leaving a few uh, parallel scratches on the die. So when it strikes up the coins, it's going to show that anomaly as a raised event. So um, another thing to be on the lookout for, um, there haven't been any sales, and we'll take a look at sales for any one of these um, Kanaka Ole quarters, uh, see if we have anything uh, rolling. Uh, but there are a few neat coins, seems to be the dealer for this one. Uh, here's another Clash Dies, uh, this one from Morrissey 2007. Uh, trying to stay within line of um, other kind of like price uh, lines there, 25 bucks. Uh, apparently, this is, the the clashing is uh, from the uh, from Edith's, Edith's name, Edith, on the reverse. Uh, this one would be interesting to um, 
kind of keep an eye out on. Uh, this one just listed as a regular auction with six days left. It's already at $5.50, five bids. I'm actually going to save this one for myself. Uh, did it do anything? Well, generally, when you uh, click on the little heart, it fills it in in blue, so that way it saves to your profile, I guess. So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, we'll keep an eye out for that, see where it, where it ends up, um, you know, because more of these are going to be found. That's obviously going to uh, take a hit on the value of them long term, kind of like what we saw with the Sally Ride uh, quarter um, strong clash dice all right so which is a really nice clash die um, and it still sells for between 10 and 20 dollars today uh, of course the better the grade the more that they're worth and that same is going to apply to a lot of these as well um, from what i understand with the clash dies there are some clashes that have even stronger clashes um, on the reverse as well so make sure you're looking for that pairing when you're looking for that clash die uh, foreign strike error. Not exactly sure what this one is. Um, I know there's a uh, there's a few of these with uh, what they call die gouges or die scratches. Um, there's even one that's large enough that I could probably comfortably say that it might be a die dent. Uh, possibly we'll come across that here momentarily as well. Uh, but we do have a number of those uh, die clashes. Um, there's uh, what looks to be a little bit of a uh, die break in the A in Kanaka Ole. Uh, so you can see this here. The second letter in her last name has been filled in uh, because it's incus. Uh, the, the letters are incus into that design part. Uh, so it's going to fill in with a die, uh, a die chip or something when, when a piece of the die had cracked and fallen off due to wear and tear. Um, you know, you're going to get events like this. Uh, so a little bit of a die chip. Uh, die chips by themselves aren't worth a whole lot of money, but it sure, certainly is an interesting find. Uh, maybe some of you can come across or put together a progression set. Maybe there's one where the entire letter A in the name is completely filled with a, a, a die chip. Could be a possibility because it's small enough um, of a design feature on the coin that it could make some sort of uh, impression. So a uh, very attractive looking uh, die chip right there. Again, nothing too incredibly major um, as far as an error. All right, continuing on. So uh, close to where the, or actually right where the clashing is uh, behind Washington Zero, uh, there are a number of coins with more feeder finger scrapes. Uh, these are a lot more shallow on the die, um, uh, but they look deep and recessed on the actual coin after they're produced. But you can see what looks like rain showers uh, coming off of uh, Washington Zero. Uh, again, quite minor. Uh, we see this quite a bit on all of the uh, different business strike coins um, here in the last like three years. Um, more clashing. Uh, this one, very interesting. Uh, this person said die crack error. And this was actually the probably one of the most interesting finds to date. And uh, it's not a scratch. And let me tell you why. Uh, because that anomaly that's going through the A and K in Kanaka, um, you're seeing it, it's raised, first of all. Second of all, you're not seeing it go through the K, all right? So what that means is that was some sort of die scratch uh, that did not affect the letter at all. Uh, you can see it affect the bottom uh, leg of the K uh, to, to a little bit of an extent. But nothing too crazy that that's going to kind of like uh, make the determination that it's damage. Um, but, you know, I personally call this the, the speared K or the uh, the spike K or something to that effect. Um, trying to give it a little bit of a nickname. Uh, you know, it's, you know, it's whatever you guys come up with. The folks that do ultimately find it have the ultimate say for a nickname here. Um, this is not a die break. Uh, this the die took a hit or something to that effect, um, thereby leaving a, um, a you know, a, this anomaly on a finished uh, coin, which is quite, quite neat. Uh, I personally like this one uh, a lot. You can even see it right there. It's very nice and strong. 
Um, so yeah, another this might might very well be the biggest biggest one to find on this coin thus far. Uh, we have more clashes. Uh, we have another clash. Uh, this one says die clash error on reverse. All right, let's see more clashes. Uh, die crack error. Not really sure what this one is. Which looks looks to be probably more so either a scratch, but upon closer examination, could also be a strike through. It could. It's kind of hard to say. I mean, it is in queues. Um, do we see any buildup? Maybe a little bit down here uh, at the bottom. So this coin could have taken a hit. Uh, but if it's raised, that's a different thing. You know, sometimes pictures can be kind of hard to tell if it's in queues into the coin, which means it took a hit, or if it's raised and maybe the die took a hit. All right. So if that were the case, uh, remains to be seen. Uh, this one is available for $65. Uh, no realized sale as of yet. Um, so again, one to keep an eye out for. Uh, people are kind of finding like uh, machine doubling, incus machine doubling, more of that on this coin. Um, more feeder finger scrapes. This one being offered 35 or best offer. Again, no really great confirmed sales so far on any of these coins. Uh, the Kanaka Ole quarter is brand new. Uh, people are starting to find these, I guess, last week. So, um, again, uh, we're going to just keep a close eye out on some of these. Uh, do we have another Wart Nose Washington here uh, on this one? Uh, it's an attractive design, I will say that. Uh, a little bit. A tiny little uh, die chip on the tip of his nose. I know uh, there are collectors that like that sort of thing. Uh, more feeder finger scrapes, more die clashes. So uh, obviously there's no shortage whatsoever of those. Uh, here's another what looks to be a die scratch that's going through the K in Kanaka. Uh, right there, it is raised. A very small one, not as crazy as the other one that we have seen before, uh, but that is there. Uh, could be useful as kind of a die, die marker for something. But, oh, sh reverse lips, Lava Flow 3X Error. I don't know what that is. Let me see. I, I mean, obviously, they have the lips going there, uh, whatever is happening. I don't know. The, the coin's taken a few hits, so it's really hard to say what's going on there. Yeah, I mean, this. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know. What do you guys think? Could the could the um, the face uh, of this uh, of um, Kanaka Ole maybe took a hit and obscure this one to make it look like something that's really not? Kind of hard to say. The coin isn't in my hand for me to make that assessment. But you know, um, and please don't you know if anything looks interesting, pull pull it aside and then have someone look at it um, because you know that's gonna give you the best bet. Uh, there's another one of those die chips. So again, quite minor. Uh, the bigger the die chip, the more that they're going to be coveted at some point. But yeah, that's kind of uh, kind of what we got so far on the uh, Kanaka Ole quarters. Uh, people are looking for the most interesting, largest event on these um, with good uh, uh, good reason. Uh, they are quite valuable. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what has sold to this point. Um, there have been a few um, items that have sold uh, as far as this is concerned. Uh, we do have a few of the Clash dies. Uh, here's one here that's sold for $40. Uh, sold today, as a matter of fact, the only sole Kanaka Ole error quarter to sell today. All right, so what does that mean? Uh, are people just not, you know, uh, high up on this particular quarter or is it too, still too soon to tell from what I could see the die clash is certainly one of the strongest events and one of the most plentiful to find from what I understand so um, that will certainly hurt its secondary market you know uh, over the short term uh, but over the long term watch out uh, I saw this one this one is actually a strike through pretty nice strike through right on her face um, and quite honestly, 25 bucks is a bargain for this um, because things like this where you have a clear defined thing on there. Now, when you look at this, is it a strike through? Is it taking a hit? Again, really hard to tell. 
uh, with this picture because on the left side it looks like there's no buildup whatsoever but on the right you can make the argument that it looks like there's a little buildup as if it took a hit uh, a strike through will have no buildup whatsoever so it'll come and then dip you know whereas if it took a hit it'll come to the edge of the anomaly have a little ridge and then come down um, so yeah pretty interesting uh, not really sure you know uh, it, uh, because it's on the high point of the devices on this one that it could go either way you know I'm just saying that that that's a possibility uh, let's see a few clash dies you know or at 30 30 40 bucks somewhere around there uh, some interesting little uh, ink use doubling type of stuff also um, you know uh, grabbing the interest of a few collectors uh, but yeah there you go that's what's uh, been going on in the happenings of the brand new just released 2023 Edith Kanaka Ole American Women Quarter. Uh, it is live now. Uh, look out for the biggest, baddest uh, errors. Uh, there's always going to be something huge coming out of these. Uh, and there's bound to be some big, impressive error um, that's going to come out on any of these quarters. You know, the Wimble Man Killer, double sided cud, uh, has been all the rage. Uh, since last year still selling for a respectable amount of money although they have come down in value a little bit so um, I would expect those to kind of soften down a little bit uh, along with these as well we're going to see prices kind of settle as more people are finding them it might get to the point where people are going to start selling these in quantity you know selling 5, 10, 20 full rolls of them at a time um, to make some money happen uh, profit wise so there you go that's kind of your market minute on the brand new 2023 Edith Kanaka Ole error quarters hopefully you guys enjoyed this one a, a great looking quarter to uh, start searching through um, so I wish you guys the best of luck in all of your hunting endeavors I'm your host Sean for Blue Ridge Silverhound and thank you again for having me on uh, thank you for all the views and support. Love you guys and uh, keep on collecting. I will see you guys next time and happy hunting.